what is going on guys welcome to my channel it's your boy richard tog um so this is the beginning of a new series that i'm gonna do on this youtube channel um it's a series based around pking basically it's something that i like to do you know and i do quite a lot um so what's the point of this series well i'm gonna be um showing you guys different pk builds different accounts uh you know to pk on um and yeah i'll just be teaching you guys the basics what to do what not to do you know so you can handle yourself a bit in the, the pvp world and yeah so you can eventually you know make some profit get some sick pks and uh, yeah that's it um so to begin off this video the first thing that i want to you know, look at is a one defense pure right so you might ask yourself well richard what's a one defense pure well it says it in the name. Uh, a, one's a one defense pure is an account that is basically um, made around the fact that you have one defense on your account, right? So this is to basically keep your combat level as low as possible. So the end goal for a one defense pure, or what people would call a max one defense pure, is 75 attack, 99 strength, 99 HP, 99 range uh, and 99 mage and the prayer can differ from time to time it just depends on what the person wants um on how to make a one defense pure i'm not gonna go in uh in this video like i'm not gonna go over in this video but uh maybe for a video in the future i'll uh, show you guys what quests to do you know um so you can like not gain defense but still uh, get the items and stuff that you need Okay, so to begin, first uh, I'm gonna show you guys what items you need to, uh, you know, PK. Um, for a pure, it's like very little, you know, you can PK in basically like rag gear, you know, you don't, you don't need a lot. So let's go over it, I'll just go over each, each uh, body part. Uh, so for the headpiece, what I would recommend if you're beginning is just to wear a koi, right? It's a, it gives you range bonus and it's, uh, yeah. For the defense that you have, it's one of the best items that you can buy. Uh, same goes for the body. You buy a leather coif and a leather, leather body, basically. Uh, as you can see, yeah, these both give like, okay, defense stats and like some range bonus. Um, the thing is, like, you're one defense, so basically anything is going to hit you, right? So it doesn't really matter what gear you wear, but to some extent it can help. Right, so the main weapon that you're gonna be PKing with as a pure is with the magic short bow. This is basically what every like um, pure uses. It's very cheap, costs only like, uh, let me check. Yeah, it only costs like 800 gold, right? Very strong, uh, very fast. Um, I'll make a in-depth guide about the magic short bow uh, another time, you know, explaining the ticks, uh, what to do, what not to do. Um, but yeah, your main weapon is just gonna be a magic short bow, right? So right now we have Koif, magic short bow, and the arrows that you're gonna be, like, that you want to be using uh, are gonna be amethyst arrows. Um, just make sure, I would say, like, I would not pure PK, like, I, I would only pure PK if you're above at least 75 range. That's what I would do. Um... Right, so moving on, uh, for the legs, you're gonna want uh, the black dehyde chaps, right? These are, one defense peers can wear these, they're the best in slot, even for main still to this day, right? Like they give amazing bonuses, like look at that, plus 31, plus 25, oh, like just amazing, right? Okay, so for the boots, you're gonna want to complete the quest death, uh, death plateau, if I remember correctly. Um, these boots give some def defense bonus, but they also give uh, melee strength bonus. Now, what is strength bonus going to do? Strength bonus has a direct impact on your max hit. So the more strength bonus you have, the higher your hits are going to be, which is very nice. Um, for an amulet, you can alternate between a strength ami and a amulet of glory. Um, the amulet of glory is a bit more expensive and gives uh, more accuracy bonuses. But wearing the Amulet of Strength gives you another extra max hit, so... Personally, I would just go with the Amulet of Strength, since you're one defense pure and everything hits. Um, then for the uh, cape slot, right? 
the best thing you can wear is an infernal cape, but other than that, I would try to get a fire cape. Now, getting a fire cape on a one defense pure is very hard, in my opinion, at least. Um, unless you're, like, very, you know, high range level. But yeah, like, getting a fire cape is pretty hard for a lot of pure, so instead of that, if I were you, complete the quest Animal Magnetism and get the Avis Accumulator, or Avis Assembler, according to your range level. Uh, what this does is, if you're shooting arrows, it uh, picks up, or like, like uh, right now you see I have 120 arrows, if I were to shoot, like, arrows, sometimes it would, like, just keep the arrow in my pocket and it wouldn't leave, so it also saves a lot of money, right? Which is nice. Um, and yeah, it's it's very cheap. Like all this gear, like right now, this gear is like what? Yeah, 20k or something, you know. Um, right. Moving on to the last two uh, pieces that you uh, are gonna want to use. Um, simply put, Mifro gloves or a combat bracelet. So combat bracelet is easy to get. You can just buy it off the Grand Exchange for 10k. Um, but in the long term, if you're gonna wanna like. PK, you know, I would use Mithro Gloves. Uh, you get these by completing the Recipe for Disaster quest partially. So you complete a couple of uh, Recipe for Disaster quests and then you can equip this. This is the best in slot for one defense. But, you know, a lot of uh, one defense peers, they still uh, choose to use the combat bracelet because, as you can see, it gives a bit more uh, attack bonuses. Right, so this is the rundown for like the basic setup right here um, of what you would want on a one defense pure. Um, you can alternate between um, yeah, like different things. Like say, for example, if you did cast the wars, you can get um, the decorative armor, which is the best in slot, if I recall. Like at, at least defensively, right? Yeah, as you can see, like the decorative armor gives so much more defenses, right? Like the halo and. Uh, uh, the body part right uh, oh yeah I also forgot but yeah for the ring spot you, you just want to be using ring of recoils um, so when you're uh, using a ring of recoil if anyone damages you they just take damage back it's simply as that um, uh, do know that your ring only has like 40 charges and after that it breaks but say for example somebody hit you for a 10 and you like you know for some reason left the fight then you can break another ring of recoil and then it recharges like your other recoil, you know? Alright right, guys, so in this part, um, I am just gonna go over the inventory setup and you know what you wanna bring when you're PKing. So uh, you can copy my uh, thing, right? Like my bank, basically this is my PK tab. Uh, all this stuff is loot, I should sell this, but... Um, like up until the point of the rune crossbow it's basically what you are gonna want to need so first off you know you want your potions and for your potions you want to bring a, a super combat ranging pot a super restore a sarah brew and a prayer pot these are the essentials you're gonna be pking with these um how you put them in your inventory is Primarily up to personal preference, right? Uh, like you can have your um, brew on the side or something, or like up here, you know. Like I've pe I've seen people put it up here, down the way, all the way there, you know. So just place it somewhere where you think you can easily access it. For me, it's like this. Like you know, here I have my prayer, brew, and co super combat and ranging pot. Um, other than that, if, since you're a pure, um, there are a lot of people who use rune crossbows, you know, with uh, Dragonstone Bolts E. Uh, now, this, these bolts have a special chance to do extra damage, but when you drink the extended anti-fire, you know, look, then you cannot get hit by that special attack for 12 minutes, which is very nice and it's very cheap. Um, if you start Dragon Slayer 2, but do not finish the quest, you can use this. Alright. Um, uh, other than that, if you have a, a high construction level, you can buy uh, teleports in your house, which is always nice, you know. Um, but for me, you know, I have uh, 65 construction. 
so I'll, I'll show my POH soon, right? Uh, but I always bring a ring of uh, wealth just to teleport to the GE. And what you always need is uh, teleport taps to home. Because say you're PKing, right? You like you're in a fight, you know. But you are out of food and he's about like to spec you or something, you know, you need to get away. So then you just uh, break the teleport tab, right? And you're out of the fight and you're safe. Um, yeah, this is my POH and in here I have the basics. So I built a chapel for prayer and a pool for uh, stamina and spec. So if I drink this, I get special attack and I can run. Mm, yeah, you yeah, have some teleports, right? But if you use this pool, right, like you get at least the basic so you can spec again. Else you have to go to world 330 each time, which is not that um, simple to, you know, it's not good. Like just get your construction up to at least 65, I would say, um, at best 84. Uh, right. Other than that, what you always want to do is free angler and check your ring of recoil. So eat. See, now you're over your max HP. Um, that way you cannot get rushed easily. Um, yeah, and you break your ring of recoil if it needs repairment. Okay. Um, now the food that you're gonna wanna bring. Right. So when I started PKing, I brought a lot of Karen ones with me. I always did like this. This is how I how my inventory used to look like. <laughs> but that's not good. You want to get used to five Karen bonds, I would say, or four. This way, um, your inventory is not clogged full with Karen bonds, which is nice, you know. Like you do not make a lot of mistakes, and you can kind of keep track with how the fight is going, right? If you notice, like you're out of Karen bonds, then you cannot do triple eat, so you can, you know, know when to tab away, go home. But yeah. Um, just uh, don't bring too many Karen bonds. that's a, a tip I give. Right, so other than that, like uh, you have your Serdomen Brew and your Super Restore and stuff, right? You got your uh, Tab and um, Ring of Wealth. You want your main food source. So usually for beginners it's gonna be Sharks, right? They heal for like 22, pretty decent, pretty cheap. Um, if you're over 90 plus HP, uh, if I remember correctly, you can buy anglers and they will heal for more. Right. So, um, and the last thing you want is your spec weapon, right? So, if you're using a Gmall, you bring your Gmall with you, right? Since you're like a beginner, you only have a Gmall and you're gonna use this to KO people with. Um, I'll show you in a bit how to spec and you know what spec weapons to use. Uh, went to spec, right? But yeah, just bring your Gmail and have your inventory look a bit organized, right? Um, other than that, if you want to bring a bit more risk, what I always bring is this is my standard inventory. So I always have this uh, weapon. It's a, a KO weapon, right? So what you can do is you can shoot an arrow, then you can like Gmail and you can use this to finish them off. Uh, but yeah, this is how your inventory is gonna look like, man. Alright, in this little section, um, I'm gonna explain to you guys on how to eat. Alright, so let me put it simple to you guys. Um, this is mostly experience. You gotta go out there and PK before you like really truly understand when to eat, the timing, how to eat, you know. It's experience mostly, but I'll give you a bit, a bit of the basics. So on the pure, you can eat, you can eat up to full. Trust me, you can save. It's totally okay to eat up to like high HP because you don't want to get stacked out as a beginner. You want to experience as much of the fights as you can. You know, just save, stay alive, learn. Right. Um. So what you want to do, right? So say for example, you're in a fight. You have three choices to make. First, single eat. You eat one one food piece, like a caramel, like boom. Single eating, right? So you're shooting, he's attacking you, single eat. He's doing a 20, single eat, right? So if you notice that he's dealing a lot of damage nonstop, you double eat. 
So you shark into a Ceridomin brew, or you shark into a Carambois. Um Do know this, the difference between shark brew and a shark Carambois is if you do a shark brew, you can still triple eat afterwards, you see? Well, if you have this one, you cannot, you're blocked. So, what is the lesson here? Always be sure. Wait, let me grab some more um, food. Um, but yeah, the lesson here is uh, is whenever you think they're specking and they're dealing a lot of damage, do shark brew. Shark brew. Just keep, keep doing shark brew. And if you see their spec, triple eat. Right? So you want to like double eat if they don't have spec and they're just hitting you and you need to uh, heal. Just uh, do a double eat. There you go. But other than that, you just mostly want to just single eat and double eat. That's the entire thing with pure PKing. You're mainly single eating, you know, like single eat, shove my food. Drag your food to your brew. That's a tip I give. You do not want your food to be here. Like, yeah, man, let me click my <laughs> shark and then my brew all the way here or like whatever the fuck, right? Uh, drag your food close to the brew. Okay. So how Saradome and Brew works right now. Okay, so we get double eating, triple eating, and single eating. Now, when you're brewed, as you can see, my stats are lowered. So once in a while, you have to drink a super restore. See, that way your stats are back, um, back to normal and you do not deal negative damage basically, right? So after you have done like double eat, okay, that's restore. Okay, ranging pot. Super combat bot, but keep an eye out, right? You cannot usually just do this and this. You know, he's gonna still attack you, right? The person that you're fighting. So you gotta also do like... Shark ranging bot. Shark super combat bot, right? And when you're doing these things, you know, like just keep in mind, you know, like keep, keep an eye on your prayer, keep an eye on your HP, and uh, you should be fine. Yo, so... Um, Alright, let's get to the good part, which is uh, specking, you know, actually like attacking your opponent. And you know, just like trying to, you know, get the KO, um, how you basically like do combos. So first off, uh, a thing for uh, one defense purist, uh, go to your rune light and type in the search bar attack styles. Um, once you go to the plugin for it, uh, it says an option to turn off defense, so that way you never get defense XP. You see, like it, it removed it, you know? Okay, so what you want to do when you're PKing somebody is you just want to arrow them, right? With your MSB, just keep shooting. And once you see a big EXP drop, you just want to go in for like a double maul. Or, um, you know, any sort of combo that you have. So... How the double maul works, right? Or how the GMO works. If you click it once, it will go off one time. If you click the maul two times, it will not go off until you click the enemy that you want to attack. If you click it off three times very fast, it will automatically double spec for you. Um, the first and the third thing that I just mentioned is mainly for melee PKing. So if you're like melee fighting, right? Uh, you can use like um, a KO weapon into a G-Maul, um, right? But for Purist, what you're mostly gonna wanna do is just arrow, right? And then if you see a big XP drop, click G-Maul, double click the G-Maul and click on the enemy. That's all you're gonna do. Um, another thing that you wanna do is like right after you like G-Maul, um, just click your spec weapon and click on the enemy. That way you can stack four hits at once. And yeah, that's basically all there is to it. Another thing, uh, always try to stay within three tiles of your enemy, right? This is just with experience, you know, you gotta keep your distance because basically three tiles is the one tick range. So one tick basically means, like say I'm standing here. If I were to, you know, shoot an arrow and then spec him. Um, I will like uh, be able to insta hit him like I w if I were for here and if I were to you know try to spec Gmail I can't he will see it and he will just easily eat it so yeah um, so other spec weapons that you have uh, for pures right at 50 attack is a uh, light ballista 
So you can do Light Ballista into uh, Double Gmo. Um, and not gonna lie, that's sort of it for 50 attack peers. Uh, for 60 attack, you can use the DDS. Um, you can use Dragon 2H, Dragon Claws. Um, and for 75 attack, you can use uh, uh, Eldermall, uh, Eldermall and the uh, uh, Armadillo Godsword. But yeah, since this is like a low level beginner PK guide, you know, you're you're most likely just going to be 50 attack and you will just mostly use the Gmall. Yep. Yo guys, uh, to quickly run over what I missed in the previous part um, of the video uh, was the prayer aspect. Um, on the pure, your prayer can go from one prayer all the way up to 55 max. Uh, the prayer that I recommend you get is 31 for ultimate strength. But if you want like a fire cape, you know, and you're like not, not good at the fight caves, just get up to um, 44 prayer or 34 prayer. I say 44 so you can have eagle eye, which makes the caves a bit easier. Right, so the prayers that you're gonna be camping on the pure is always have protect item, right? Um, ultimate strength, incredible reflexes, and then that's it. Th these are the three essentials. If you want from there, you can use smite and... Uh, these three uh, prayers over here but it drains your prayer quickly so usually i would just uh, stick to these three um since you're a beginner i don't want you to switch from ego eye to ultimate strength or anything i just want you to camp um ultimate strength and incredible reflexes that's all you gotta do right so that's the prayer part right so now on the specking part right um yeah if you were to like uh, have your gmail Click once, it's gonna go off once, pretty simple. Um, same for an AGS whack, uh, let me try it if I can get it. Yeah, see, so you AGS whack and then you maul once, right? Um, if you were to double click while whacking and then click on the dummy, uh, you will get all the hit splats in one. But what, it, what I personally uh, prefer using is, um, uh, yeah, instead of like the double clicking and then clicking on them, it's like triple clicking. So you hit, right? See? Like you just triple click the Gmail and it automatically goes off on the dummy. Um, but yeah, that's like a bit of the Gmail out of the way, right? You know, just double click or triple click. You know, do what feels nice for you. Uh, what I mean with double clicking is look, if you double click, see? Automatically two hits instantly. Um, yeah, um, so this is mainly just a pure guide. In other videos, I'll show you different combos for, for you know, Zerkers and mains, right? Where you can do, like, uh, a, G a Gmo into, like, an AGS spec, right? Like, right there, I didn't think the Gmo would actually go off, but what you would do is, like, Gmo into an AGS spec on the dummy. Um, but yeah, you have a lot of combos, you know, that you can use, um, and I'll be going over them in future videos. But um, I hope this makes it a bit more clear, you know, with the Gmo. Um, just just remember that, you know, using a GMO is hard. Like, you know, you're gonna get dookied on by a lot of, like, PKers when you're beginning, you know. But, you know, just keep it up and, uh, you know, don't give up. Alright, so after all the tips I've given, uh, I'm gonna show you guys, like, uh, one example fight. Um, you know, like, make sure you're potted up and you're angler. And, uh, yeah, we will, I'll, I'll get back to you guys once I got a fight. Alright guys, I think I found a fight with this dude over here. Yep, alright, so just make sure you're uh, pre-potted with everything you know. And we got him, alright. That was a pretty silly kill, but... Um, it basically just comes down to seeing a big EXP arrow drop, right? Um, being pre-anglered and all that. And also against this guy, right? See, he was using Dragonstone Bolt C. So because I was using the uh, extended anti-fire, he couldn't, like, he didn't really have a chance to kill me right there, actually. All right, and another thing, you know, like which most guys don't tell you is how to actually get your loot, right? So just protect, put on protect melee, uh, put on protect item. Uh, because in the pure back bracket, there are a lot of rushers. A lot of people will try to kill you, you know, while you're looting, and you don't want that to happen, right? Um, one thing you should watch out, though, is for people who teleblock and stuff, right? So, if you were to get TB, then you don't have food, you're pretty fucked, if I would say so myself. But, you know, just make sure you um, 
keep on the right prayers. Um, I would mostly say just scam protect melee in all honesty. Like just protect melee and you know most of their KO potential goes out of the window. Um, but yeah, other than that, right, like you know that was an example PK. Just shoot an arrow, it's, it's pretty simple. You know, shoot an arrow, look for a big EXP drop um, on the uh, on the arrow and then when you Gmol it's literally just RNG. <laughs> like, you know, um, there's a lot more to PKing obviously, right, like you have things like PIT, player identification number, but um, in another video I'll go over it, like on the main PKing video or a Zerker PKing video. Um, and I'll explain uh, more in depth what PIT really is. Alright, but um, I think that's it for the video, guys. Um, I hope it will, you guys found it you know, helpful, that you guys learned something. Um, this is like the first video on my channel, so if you guys have any feedback or anything like that, you know, just uh, leave it in the comment section below. Um, be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe if you haven't. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys later.